Barack the Yahweh, Barack the Yahweh Shai, Barack the Yahweh, Barack the Yahweh Shai. By Shimra Kakadash, Barack that means bless you. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Barack that means bless you. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. By Shimra Kakadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and who was taught as truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole for elect, the sincere Achim. This is Matthew 11, verse 7. And as they departed, Yahweh began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with, with the wind? All right, so Yahweh said to the multitude, because the multitude went to see John, John the Baptist, all right? And they saw that he was rough. Yeah, he was rough. He had rough clothing on. All right. He, he wasn't uh, necessarily high esteem in their eyes. They, they, so Yahusha said, what, what do you come to see? A reed shaken with the wind? Verse 8. But what went ye out to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. All right. So if you were in nice clothing, all right, decked out. Nice apparel, okay. That means that you're you're in the you're in king's houses. You're in, all right. You're in your heaven. You're in your blessing. All right. That's why in this times the men of the Lord they look ordinary. All right. They wear regular garments. Okay. They're not wearing decked out uh, fine linen, fine array clothing. Okay. Just like John the Baptist wasn't wearing that. All right. And this account right here, in verse nine. But what went ye out to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. All right. But John the Baptist was a prophet. All right. He was a prophet of the Lord. Okay. And he didn't. He was a regular man. All right. And he didn't. He didn't have that look. Okay. That um, the world looks for when, when when you say that you're a man of the Lord. All right. When you have that title of a man of the Lord, the world they look for uh, something of this world. Okay. But the, the the Lord said the wisdom of this world is foolishness, okay? But also the scriptures say the thoughts of the Heavenly Father are not our thoughts, neither his ways are ways, okay? Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick and I'll continue. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse uh, 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the, than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Exactly. So what the Lord has set up, all right, how the Lord says that his prophets are going to be, what they're going to look, all right, is not, all right, the same thing as what you think, okay? Because the Lord's thoughts, his plan, all right, is greater than yours. It's higher than yours, okay? Uh, this is the book of uh, Amos, chapter 7. We'll read verse 14. Then answered Amos and said unto Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son, but I was an herd man and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. Alright, and all the brothers, alright, that, that's calling that's preaching the word, alright, the men of the Lord, okay, that's prophesying the downfall of America. Alright, we were just regular, ordinary men, okay going by our lives till the Lord woke us up okay we, we came across a video or uh, we, we walked across a camp okay and then the spirit came on us and now we're out there prophesying okay same thing happened to Amos it said then answered Amos and said unto Amaziah I was no prophet neither was our prophet's son our, our fathers aren't out there prophesying okay it says but I was an herd man and a gatherer of sycamore fruit and the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said unto me, Go prophesy unto my people, Israel. Okay? And that's what the Lord has said unto the 144,000, the elect, the hopeful elect. All right, which we're hoping for. We're hoping to be part of that number. Okay? And what? If you're part of that number, that means what? You're going to go out to the highways and the byways, and you're going to prophesy because that's a, that's a commandment. All right? This is the book of um, Matthew, chapter 22. And nine, go ye therefore, and this is red letter. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find, bid to the marriage. Okay, we're supposed to go out to the highways and bid to the marriage. All right, preach the Lord's, preach the 
Lord's word, okay? In all sincerity and truth, okay? The scripture said, I think it's Timothy's. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Preach in season. I think it's 2 Timothy 4. Bear with me. Yep, 2 Timothy 4. That's what I thought. This is 2 Timothy 4, verse. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 1. I charge thee therefore before the Most High and the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing at his and his kingdom. So when the Lord comes, that's going to be his appearing. Okay, the whole world's going to see him, and that's going to be him establishing his kingdom upon the planet Earth. All right. It says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, so the men of the Lord, the whole elect, they're supposed to preach the word, okay? Not only are they supposed to preach the word, they're ordinary, they, they're perceived as ordinary men in this society, okay? Just like, just as you was shot 2,000 years ago when he was preaching the word, all right, amongst his, his, his brethren, Okay, amongst the people that grew up with them, they perceived him to be an ordinary man. All right, this is the book of Mark, chapter six. All right, and I'm gonna read. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna read verse one. And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished. Saying from whence had this man these things And what wisdom is this Which is given unto him That even such mighty works are wrought by his hands Okay And through the spirit Alright starting with the apostle Tahar on down Alright we're doing mighty works Alright by bringing out the understanding of these scriptures And making it plain Okay to the people Like it says in Habakkuk 2 Okay Make the vision plain upon tables That he may run that readeth it Okay the Lord put the Spirit upon us that we can uh, break down the scriptures so that uh, once once the elect brother hears it, he can hear it, uh, understand it, eat it, and then go out and, and do the same thing. Teach the word. Okay? Verse 3, it says, Is not this the carpenter's son of... Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joses, and of Judah and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. All right, here's a proof the point though. All right, verse four says, But Yahweh shall say unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin in his own house. Okay, so a prophet is someone that's supposed to be of honor, uh, honorable, okay, and, it, and will receive honor. But it says, A prophet is without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin in his own house. Okay. The men of the Lord right now, the, the true prophets of the Lord, they are, they're not honored right now, okay? They're despised, they're looked down upon, okay? People seek after people seek after their lives, okay? But what? The men of the Lord, they trust in the Lord, okay? They trust in the Lord with all their heart, mind, and soul. And they're not going to be moved, okay? The scriptures say that... Uh, the teachers shall not be moved into a corner anymore. Okay? This is the time for victory. Alright? King David said that though thousands of my enemies uh, uh, encamp around me, I will not fear. Okay? But yeah, the point was just that the, the men of the Lord, the ordinary men, okay? In the eyes of the people, okay? But in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, all right, they're great, all right, and they're doing mighty works. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this scripture real quick, and I'm going to end it on this. This is 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. All right, for the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. So, the people, they're looking at the men whom the Lord has raised up, starting with the Apostle Star on down, all right, on their outward appearances, not knowing that inwardly, all right, their heart is, is in good grace with the Lord, okay? The Lord's going to have mercy upon those men. Those men that you see being raised up right now, 
a part of the house of David, all right? Prophesied to be risen up in these last days, all right? All right, so Lord wants to edify our video, and we'll give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kadash. All right, the bars, the apostles, and the elders of great Muslims will well. Peace be.